Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. So we are jumping straight into it and here's what my nails are looking like so far. As you can see, they're not terrible, but I am gonna go ahead and start off with some nail prep. So I'm first starting out by pushing back my cuticles using my cuticle pusher. And just a fun fact, you will notice that on my index finger, I don't really do too much. And that's because this nail was already prepped. And the reason it was already prepped is because I actually just braided my mom's hair not too long ago. And I did a little stiletto nail on my two pointer fingers so that I could go ahead and like actually braid her hair. So yeah, that's why it looks a little bit more clean than the rest. So now that my cuticles are pushed back, I'm taking the opposite end to scrape up any excess product and dead skin. And now I'm going in with a cuticle bit to further lift up any dead skin and as you can see i'm being super gentle and i'm not focusing on one area for too long and that's because i really don't have much to do i just want to make sure that there's nothing like stuck in my cuticle area from my last nail set and to finish off the prep i'm just going to use my cuticle nippers and cut back the excess cuticle And here is what my nails are looking like once they're fully prepped. Now I'm going to go in with my peel off base coat and for that I'm using my McCart peel off base coat and a little bit of cuticle oil. Now it's not really necessary to use an oil for this step because we're already working with a peel off base coat but for this one in specific I find that it is a little bit harder to come off than my matte top coat that I used to do a while ago. So the cuticle oil just provides me with an extra bit of protection from the peel off base coat because otherwise it would be very difficult to actually pop off and that's probably because this peel off base coat is intended for those who want to wear it for maybe a few days but for me, I only wear it for the video, so I need to actually get these off in time. But again, it's not really necessary. So as you can see, I'm going in with two layers of my peel off base coat and I'm making sure to cure those layers for 60 seconds. So all of the prep is done and now I'm going to go ahead and glue on these nail tips and as always I'm going to glue them on using some base coat. And before I cut these nail tips down, I'm going to go in with a single layer of base coat just for a little bit of added strength. I don't really think this is necessary, but I could just be a little bit paranoid from past experiences because I have had situations where I've been cutting down my nail tips and because I'm using a peel off base coat, they just pop off super easily. So I like to use the base coat for a little bit of protection. So now we're on to the acrylic application and as you can see i am doing this in real time again i've been really enjoying doing these real time portions because i feel like it's a good opportunity for you guys to see my actual speed and i also find it really relaxing because typically the application portion is the most relaxing and calming portion for me and i'm pretty sure that could be the same for a lot of you guys so i feel like it's kind of a win-win so for today's application i'm actually using a custom mix that i made not too long ago and i got this color by mixing a little bit of nude acrylic some clear acrylic and some fine glitters it was a very very easy color to mix and i wasn't exactly sure of how it was going to look when i put it on my actual nails i did a tester finger and i think it looked pretty good but i was still kind of nervous because obviously i feel like the testers are just testers so you don't really know how it looks against your skin tone now in the jar it is more pink because the nude base that i used is a bit more pink but as you can see on the nail it leans slightly purple and that's 
just because I did mix a cool toned purple into my monomer. I usually do this when I want to change the color of my acrylic because I'm not really the person to make custom mixes of acrylic so I don't have chalk or anything like that but I do think that I want to get more into making custom acrylics because it's so much easier and a lot more inexpensive than buying actual acrylic colors so I would definitely be looking into investing in chalks and more jars and stuff because it's honestly really fun and so so cool to see just exactly like what you can come up with with what you have so yeah that is how I got this color so for the application portion I wanted to mention a few different things the first being that you will notice that my application is very very thin and if you guys didn't know I have been trying to lean more into doing thinner nails especially on myself and that's mainly because I only wear these nails for the video as you guys know I'm working on top of a peel off base coat so once I'm done filming and taking photos I literally just pop these off directly after so doing structurally accurate nails is kind of just a waste of time for me personally because time is something that I'm really trying to work on as I grow as a nail content creator or a nail tech. I don't really like to consider myself a nail tech because I don't take clients, but I think you guys know what I mean. Now, if you are taking clients or doing someone else's nails or even doing your own nails, I would definitely not recommend doing your nails this thin because they will most certainly break before you know it. However, if you are just someone who likes to focus on nail art or maybe you're like me and you only do nails for content, I would definitely try doing thinner application because the one thing I will notice is that it has cut down on my time so, so much. My application used to take almost 30 to 45 minutes and this honestly took, I believe, eight to 10 minutes. And if you are watching the application portion from the beginning to the end, you can check me on that i'm not exactly sure but it didn't take long at all and of course like i said this is real time so the entire portion of what you see is exactly how long it took in real life so yeah i just wanted to mention that um with that being said please do not tell me that my application isn't structurally accurate because i'm very much fully aware so yeah just a little bit of a disclaimer another disclaimer is that i do believe that my camera was shifted over a little bit too much to the left because as you can see i am focusing a lot on the right side of my camera for whatever reason and i've had this issue in the past and with that being said i do think that i really want to invest in an actual camera because if you don't know i do film on my iphone 14 and obviously the camera is at the very top of my phone and because it's not centered it's very hard to find the center on my actual nail table so yeah i just want to make that like kind of clear because it's very annoying to watch me shift more and more to the right over time so yeah just wanted to apologize for that also another thing with with filming on my iPhone 14 is that it has a very hard time focusing on what it needs to focus on. So a lot of times there will be clips that are super blurry if I get a little bit too close to the camera. And even with that being said, I'm not even that close. So it can be very annoying. And I know it's probably annoying for you guys to watch. So again, I really do want to invest in a camera eventually. I just have to find out exactly what camera would work best for me and all of that other stuff. I don't know anything about cameras, so it would definitely take a good while for me to actually get the hang of it. But that is a conversation for a later date, so I'm not gonna touch too much on that. So now that the disclaimers are out of the way, I wanna talk about what I really wanted to talk about for this section. And that is that I am hoping to really move more into ASMR content and nail content that's a little bit more relaxing and I guess cinematic, if that makes sense. I've been really thinking of ways to add to my channel and make it a little bit more complex because I love doing these tutorial based videos because it's really chill and it's nice to just hang out and do your nails but I really want to expand on this and do something that is very cinematic and something that takes a little bit more time to produce and as you guys know I have tried ASMR in the past but I really want to get better at it and make it super relaxing and soothing to watch so definitely do let me know if you guys are into ASMR content and if you guys would like to see more cinematic pieces from me with that being said that doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing these kinds of videos like this, but I do kind of want to mix it up a little bit because I don't know, I feel like we need something new and interesting. Not to mention, I've also really been thinking of ways to incorporate my art into my nail channel. And I'm pretty sure none of you guys know this, but I love drawing. I've been drawing seriously or quote unquote seriously since I was 10 years old. And I've been really wanting to get back into my art, but I deal with a lot of art block and just loss of passion. So I haven't really thought about it in 
so long. But now that spring is here and I'm thinking of ways to add to my channel and make it more complex, I've just been thinking of so many different ways to make that happen. So again, definitely do let me know how you guys feel about that. And also if you guys will be more interested in seeing like some art from me, I don't know, I'm not really sure. But yeah, so that's that on that. So I don't believe I have anything else to mention really for this portion. So I will just let you guys watch the rest of it. And of course, we'll be back to shape and file these nails. So the application is done and this is what everything is looking like so far. So I have my dust collector ready and the first thing I'm going to do is start shaping up the sidewalls and undersides of my nails using my 8080 grit nail file. After I've shaped up the sides, I'm going to use that same nail file to file over the entire surface of the nail. And I'm not going too crazy because as you can see, my nails are already pretty thin. So I'm just making sure that there's no lumps and bumps.
Next, I'm taking this fine carbide bit to seal my cuticles and just make sure that my apex is nice and round. And again, not going too crazy because they're already pretty thin and I don't really have much work to do because my application is pretty smooth towards my cuticle area. Now, after I have sealed my cuticles, I'm actually taking that seam card by bit and I'm gonna actually just graze over the surface of my nails. And I actually saw this technique done by Nails by Jessica over on Instagram as well as YouTube. Please do make sure to go ahead and follow her on Instagram if you already don't and do make sure to subscribe to her YouTube channel. I really love to watch her videos just to unwind and relax because I just think her videos are so relaxing. I love her application. I love how she shapes her nails. I love her nail art. And I don't know, I think I'm just like obsessed with how she does her application and shaping. But anyways, the point of grazing over the surface with that fine carbide bit is to kind of get rid of the scratches without having to use a mini buffer. And I find that this is definitely a time saver and I really love it because it's super easy and simplistic. So after that, I'm just going ahead and shaping up the tips of my nails using my 88 grit nail file. And then I'm going back in with that fine carbide bit just to clean up the undersides a little bit. I'm not making them super thin because again, they're already pretty thin and I don't want these to break at the ends. Just making sure that everything is nice and clean. So we are now onto the nail art and today's nail art was actually inspired by one of you guys in the comments and i really wanted to save this nail design idea for spring because i felt like it would be a really nice simple spring design so thank you to this commenter for giving me this recommendation i do have some other nail sets that you guys have recommended me to try so definitely do stay tuned for those one of you guys has asked me to do mystical nails that you would see on like press on nail sets on instagram and someone else also asked me to do gyaru nails i believe it's pronounced gyaru or gyaru my japanese accent is terrible so please forgive me but yes those two nail set ideas are definitely in the back of my mind and i'm very excited about them both so we are starting out this nail set by painting a black french tip on my pointer finger my pinky and my thumbnail and for these three nails i did make sure to do this in two layers making sure to wipe down the sides each time before i cure And I'm finishing off these three nails with a thin layer of top coat. And I'm making sure to cure this for a full 60 seconds. So 
So now we're gonna work on those two bling nails. And the first thing I'm gonna do is paint a French tip using this glitter gel polish. And I'm only doing one layer of this because I don't need it to be super perfect or opaque. So I'm not really stressing too much about this part. And the reason I am painting a glitter French tip on this nail is because it does help to fill in some of the gaps. I recently just started doing this not too long ago and I do not regret it. You guys actually recommended that I try doing this step to make it a little bit more not so see-through when I do the bling French tip. And I'm so glad that I took this recommendation because it makes these bling nails pop even more. And after I have those painted on, I did make sure to cure it for a full 30 seconds. Now, after I have those French tips painted on, I'm just gonna buff the surface of these two nails a little bit. I'm only doing this because I am about to glue a whole bunch of gems to these nails, and I don't want the surface to be super shiny because otherwise they're not gonna stick that well. Now, for these bling nails, it's gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna need some AB crystals as well as these colorful flowers. And for today, I'm gonna be using the light blue, purple, and white flowers. But of course, feel free to use whatever color you want. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a border using these smaller gems just so that I can out line the actual French tip and I make sure to use the smallest ones because I feel like it would look weird if you just use like really big gems for this part and as always I am making sure to do this in sections because I am using rhinestone glue so it does need to be cured in order for it to fully set and that of course means that it just moves around a lot so I don't want to like risk it and do too much at one time and then everything starts slipping and sliding so if you are using rhinestone glue like me I definitely do recommend doing this in small portions and just curing everything in in small sections and moving on from there. After I have the perimeter set, I'm gonna go in with some of my larger gems as well as some of those flowers. And if you haven't seen my other bling nail sets, I typically like to add the bigger gems towards the center of the nail. And I try to keep everything nice and condensed towards the very center. Otherwise the nail starts to look wide very, very quickly. So definitely do keep that in mind. You really don't wanna go too close to the edge when you are working with these gems because it will start to warp the shape of your actual nails. But other other than that, I'm just going to continue to place these gems and these flowers and I will come back towards the end.
So the two bling nails are finished and now I'm gonna finish off these two nails with some top coat. And to finish off this nail set, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of cuticle oil. And that completes today's set. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. This nail set is definitely a lot more simple than what I have been doing recently, but I still really, really love it. This nail set is definitely not in your face with the spring vibe. And I feel like my last nail set was very similar in that aspect. But even still, I really love the addition of the flowers and the bling, as well as the glitter acrylic with all of the different colors. I just think it comes together really, really nicely. So I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this nail set. Let me know if you would wear it for the spring. And also, if you have some more nail ideas, especially like spring nail set ideas, definitely feel free to let me know in the comments. I will try my best to work through all of the recommendations while also getting out some of my own video ideas. And hopefully, I can get a really good collection of spring nail sets for the season. As you guys know, I've just been loving it. I'm really here for it. As for what I mentioned a little bit earlier about incorporating more complex ideas and cinematography and even ASMR, let me know what your thoughts on that are because I want to be able to make videos that you guys would actually want to watch and even though this is technically like my channel or whatever i do really value you guys's opinion and if you guys would like to see more of the asmr type of content i would love to hear what you guys think of that thank you guys so much for supporting me and just being here with me while i try and figure out what i want to do with my life and my channel it can be really difficult to figure out exactly how to balance my wants versus what you guys want and i just want to say thank you guys for making that so much easier for me but as always i want to say thank you guys so so much for tuning in today and i will see you guys in the next one